My name is Anna Tunnicliffe. I'm 30 years old and I live in Miami, Florida. I'm a two-time Olympian, two-time World Sailor of the Year. I've won a gold medal um, at the 2008 Olympics and I also do CrossFit and I do CrossFit to train for my sailing. I think CrossFit and sailing go hand in hand. Um, obviously the physical side of both sports helps each other, um, but also the mental side. Sailing um, is a very mental game, so you have to be tuned in all the time and uh, focused on accomplishing the next task. And same with CrossFit, you know, you're in a lot of pain whilst you're going through your workout, um, but really all you've got to focus on is the next rep that you've got to get in. So the mental training of both really go hand in hand along with the physical side. This is my first time qualifying for the CrossFit Games. Um, I did the Opens in 2012, qualified for regionals, um, but the timing of the regionals was a week before my Olympic trials and the goal that year was to go to the Olympics, so I had to focus on that and skip the regionals last year. Um, but we set ourselves a goal of trying to make it to the Games this year. Um, so as soon as the Olympics were over, started training hard for the CrossFit Games, made regionals and uh, made the Games. My day-to-day -day life, um, I wake up early, I go to the gym, I do my strength, my wad, or two wads if I have it. Um, I hang out for a while and try and help the other members of the, in the gym too, um, whenever I can. As soon as I'm done with a wad, it's over to you know, whoever's next to me and start encouraging them on. It's, um, you know, CrossFit's about community, it's about team. You know, whether you know, you're lifting you know, just the bar or you're lifting the, the RX weight, like it's accomplishing the wad is feet in itself so um, you know just as someone would come and cheer me on I would be right there to cheer them back and then after we're done with the box for the day I come home and basically it's about getting uh, running my Olympic sailing campaign and uh, that involves you know receipts expenses booking travels entering events figuring out training schedules so that takes up most of my afternoon and then, then I make dinner and I go to sleep I don't really party that much. I kind of go to bed at like 9 o'clock and just wake up and do the same thing over and over every day. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs of any sort. I try to be generally clean. I, I think it's um, a better way of life. I like to think that I'm a role model for youth kids, especially younger girls. Um, I want them to strive for their goals, achieve what they want to achieve in their sailing life and just in life in general. It kind of falls over into CrossFit a little bit too, like yes, I want to help people accomplish their goals, you know, whether their goal is to, um, I don't know, do Fran in three minutes or do, you know, deadlift 300 pounds, like whatever their goal is, like if I can help in some way um, them accomplish their goal, then that's great, you know, any way I can help and motivate somebody is, you know, it's a success, I think. And, uh, you know, obviously there's not as many kids that do it in CrossFit, so it's more just helping, you know, my community, my team members. Um, but uh, I like challenge and, you know, I always set challenges for myself every day. And uh, I, so I wake up excited to try and knock out that challenge, whether it be the WAD or the strength training or in a sailboat race. Um, the, the actual race or in training and sailing, like the goal for that day. You know, these girls are like, these girls are really good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm nervous about competing with them, but at the same time, I'm super pumped to be competing with them because it's an opportunity of a lifetime and these are, you know, the fittest girls in the world. And to be right there competing with them, pushing myself to my limit, um, I think that's really exciting.